Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good, good, good morning. We are the love warriors, the love ambassadors. Boom, boom. We are the love warriors, the love ambassadors. A boom, boom. That's right. A new impromptu song every day to start our love ambassador bullpen. The Love Morning Broadcast, a daily broadcast, 9 a.m. Pacific time, every day. Well, we're going to do a hug in a few minutes, but I wanted to spend a moment of gratitude for the Burning Man placement team. I have been processing the information about where our camp was placed this year, um, which was not what I expected, and expectation is the killer of joy, and it took me a moment of recalibration to rethink what I was planning for and expecting. And there were times when I felt a little entitlement and there were times when I felt frustration. And, you know, but you don't learn without a little bit of discomfort. That is one such a core lesson of Burning Man is surrender, letting go of the way you think things should be and recognizing that things are perfect. And so I, placement, changed our location. Initially we were at the middle of a block at eight and F and they said uh, a few days later, actually we're gonna move you to eight and E. And then they had a third email, it's actually eight E in the corner because we wanna make sure you have space to display your art that used to be on the other side of the Esplanade, which is like, oh my gosh, you guys, with everything you guys have to figure out and, and take into consideration, you are listening to our needs. I mean, I don't think we messaged them and complained. Maybe we did. I, I don't think so. I think we just were like, are you sure? Is this accurate? And then I made some public posts that I'm worried that may have got to placement in maybe an unfriendly way. Like some people who responded to, to my posts and videos, you know, immediately went to like anger towards the organization. And I don't think I started any of that negativity. I think I've been very embracing my journey of acceptance and rethinking and, and really gratitude. And I, I, so I wanted to thank placement and recognize that it's got to be such a difficult job and that every single group you place has just as much passion and expectations and maybe frustration and maybe sometimes bitterness and anger, depending on what they hear from, from placement. Well, I'm sure there's also as many celebrations as they finally either quickly or over time come to that same place that I am now at of like, we get to go to Burning Man. And so I want to apologize to placement in case there was any sort of ripples of negativity that they received. Um, and I wanted to thank them for this, all the effort I wanted to, I generally feel like messaging placement with anything non-critical is like with everything they have to deal with it's just unnecessary maybe even a little rude that could be my issue of not wanting to be a bother so on behalf of pink heart and all theme camps thank you thank you specifically to monday our placer and uh the whole placement team i look forward to hopefully giving you a hug if you're up for that uh, when we get home at least some ice water whenever you come by and hopefully some vegan ice cream as well. So much gratitude for the opportunity to visit Black Rock City. So much gratitude for the opportunity to go through these, these processes of letting go and learning and finding treasures in places that you did not expect. So I cannot wait for the experience of being on the corner at 8 and E and, and experiencing my favorite place in the world from a place that I never have before and getting to see how we get to interact with our neighbors, how we get to give to the city, how do we get to be an asset and make the most incredible city in the history of the world a little bit better, hopefully a lot better. Thank you. Love you. So it is just about time for a hug. So wherever you are, give yourself a squeeze and feel us all coming together in this moment, letting go of our individual identities, surrendering our me into a we. Recognize it doesn't matter where our feet are, it matters where our heart is. And so we can gather together and invite those that aren't even here physically or in this broadcast, but are here as this intentional 
vibe that have ever been in this room that might watch this recording later and anyone that we're connected with and bringing them into this hug recognition that we are all more alike than we are different recognizing that we are all doing the best we can and forgiving ourselves when we get off track and forgiving others when they do as well forgiving ourselves when we see ourselves as separate and so in this place let's feel that that oneness that shared humanity as we take a deep breath in hold it and squeeze <sighs> on behalf of grandpa caleb and all of you thank you for being here for our love morning and for our hug nation hug love you one of the goals here is to know that we are together and remind ourselves that we can be love ambassadors and we have opportunities all day every day to just show a little bit more kindness a little bit more connection whether it's a extra word of appreciation to the cashier or eye contact with the person walking by or a moment of extra patience as someone is talking to you and just really like looking for those times and places i've had a few cool love ambassador moments the last few days um, my hair has been particularly bright so i've had as i've done for some walks and jogs i've had some neighbors actually stop me and, and had little brief uh hair appreciation moments which is fun i had a i went last night and i walked to the corner i was thinking i would get a beer at the local um, restaurant bar it's got a rooftop but they were doing um trivia there so there was it was pretty loud you know microphone coming from there and there was a woman on the corner who works at the corner store grocery st or liquor store but she wasn't working she was just on the corner smoking a cigarette she's got a french accent and she just said oh i remember you and we started talking and i got to hear her life story took a photo together if you're on my instagram which is halcyon pink you can see it took a picture of us together she's not much on social media but it was just fun to have this like oh cool human connection we had shared a hug i gave her a sticker and then on the way home, I saw a guy going through trash cans, getting cans. And that is like my favorite way to gift to people experiencing homelessness, as opposed to someone who is on the corner panhandling or at the, the freeway off ramp with the sign. I have no doubt that many of those people are absolutely in need. I just, the, the experience of, of panhandling is, it, it, it's, it lacks the same reward. So I went up to this man, knowing that I was in gifting mode, I was in the zone of love ambassador. He was 20 feet away. I was able to like, okay, cool. I think I've got a 20 that I have been just holding onto, ready to give to somebody. It's part of my budget of gifting that I just had. And so I see him and I walk up and I'm like, I'm like, hey, uh, I just got this, it's not mine. And he was like, Thanks, man. And, and we were able to have a, a, a moment of connection, introduce ourselves, um, ask him where he's from and how long he's been here, and then you know, kind of went about my business. I didn't want to kind of like say, hey, I gave you money, therefore you have to entertain me. But I did want him to not just dismiss him. So, you know, give him some attention and dignity and respect. And then uh, I was like, right on, cool. That was two, I left the house. I was, could have stayed in my home all day. I decided to go out and had these, wasn't the, what I expected. I was thinking I'd go to the bar and see if I said hello to somebody at a bar, but instead met a woman who works on the corner outside the liquor store and then met someone in the alley. Perfect love ambassador opportunities that I could easily have missed if I had not practiced this with you each day and practiced this reminders of looking for the opportunities to connect. So I hope you are doing the same and recognizing that it's, it matters. You, know, you create ripples. You know, as this woman approached me and said hello, she is an activist in the world, showing kindness and friendliness that I was able to receive and then reflect. And then we both are fuller and our ripples then are magnified. That's what we're all doing for each other. Little bitty efforts over time. Compound interest of kindness. We all contribute our specific, unique petals of our flowers to this bouquet. And then as we go through our day, as I get to meet people, as you meet people, as you cross paths, as you smile, as you show a little extra, just tiny moment of connection rather than putting your head down, 
you are presenting this bouquet on behalf of all of us. So thank you. I love you. <laughs>